Welcome to Discover Ramona, where we explore the people, places, and businesses that make it one of the best places to live. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with my co-host, Jan Ryan. Hi, Jan. Hi, Valley. How's it going? Good. Everything's great. So, Jan, I was thinking, if I'm going to take a Saturday or Sunday with my family, I'm going to go up to Ramona, I'm going to tour the town, what are some things I can do? Well, there's so many things you can do in Ramona. I love a great breakfast at either Marinade if you're there on the weekend. Also, Ramona Family Naturals has an amazing breakfast oh. as well. So if you want to do that and the shops there, I feel like I'm in a resort when I'm mm. going through the shops there. You would be amazed. Um, there's everything from great clothing, gift ideas, antiques, and these stores are really nice. They've done a beautiful job. Mm -hmm. So a lot of great gifts. And then there's some great hiking, there's some wineries, there's a lot of art in Ramona, there's art studios, a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. So there's no short, and don't forget the wineries. Yeah. So as I like you get that. into the afternoon. Right, and I like mm -hmm. the idea of like some history, and I feel like Ramona has a lot of history rooted out there. So it just seems like such a family fun area to be around, be in, you know? It is, and a lot of times people will go somewhere else when they live there, but there's so much to do right there. And of course, you've got the bike, Guy B. Woodward Museum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So anyways, you brought us somebody today. They're, I think they own, own and operate Ramona Radio, right? Yeah, Eric Goforth started Ramona Radio, and it's a huge asset to the community. I think you're going to be very impressed. All right, let's meet him. Let's meet him. Hi Eric, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks Appreciate for being it. here. I'm glad I'm here. So I heard that you own and operate Ramona Radio? Yeah, my wife and I. Okay, tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, it started off as a uh, kind of an accidental project that stemmed from another project. You know how that is. You know, yeah. sometimes you just kind of start walking through the doors as they open. Um, and I, I own another small business in town and I was looking for ways to advertise that business and I wanted to talk to my local community, my, you know, mm -hmm. my community. And uh, before I knew it, I says, well, we don't have a radio station. Let's mm -hmm. get a radio station. And then I had to learn about that. And, mm -hmm. And that's basically it. And so now we have a we have a radio station. We're fully licensed. So yeah, and that's yeah. what I love and about entrepreneurs is they're when they mm -hmm. get an idea, they self educate and they figure out a way. Mm -hmm. You know, and it seemed like you. It didn't, was a steep learning curve. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> but you took the time to figure it out. A lot of people just want like the handout, and so you were like, "No, this is my vision. I need to figure this out." Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you yeah, for me. Like you have to look at where you want to be ultimately, mm -hmm. and then you just start have to you have to start marching. Uh -huh. right? You have to start doing the work, and you have to start looking into it and make sure that it's done right. Wait, so, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. What are some of the things that you wanted to say that you felt like so passionate about that you needed to get out to your community of Ramona? Like, what was the urgency? What was the importance of what you were? The, the importance. To share? So it's like I, I own I own the flight. I'm one of the co-owners of the Ramona Flight Training Center up there, and we have an aviation community, and we have a a flight training community and in the aviation side everybody's trying to you know there's a large a lot of people that are trying to learn mm -hmm. how to fly and go become professional pilots and they all thought they had to go down the hill mm. right they all thought they had to go to San Diego and down the hill and I'm like there's a a full-blown community of educators up here mm -hmm. and I don't know how to get that message out mm -hmm. and we tried social media and we tried this and we tried you know we tried a few different things but I don't know. Just there's so, there's always been a, an appeal for me of the radio mm -hmm. because I can be just driving along and enjoying my day, mm -hmm. right? I can listen to some music and then I hear, oh, cool. There's a fundraiser mm -hmm. happening next mm -hmm. week that I didn't know about. That's mm -hmm. I didn't know. That's cool, and yeah. And so I just wanted to market, and mm -hmm. so I had to get that word out. Yeah. And and I think the larger stations they'll 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 spread your word all the way from Tijuana to L.A. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> I don't think anybody in Tijuana cares, right? Maybe, <laughs> so, yeah, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe. Here. I mean, who knows, right? But um, I do know that my community would care, mm -hmm. and that's who I really wanted to talk to. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So, and then we got involved with the local music scene, um, just because I thought that was cool. And so now Ramona Radio has kind of become like this hub spot for San Diego County musicians as well. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. So we have all the mainstream music, but you're gonna hear 
artists from Oceanside and San Diego and Ramona and Julian and Wynola and these are amazing artists, mm -hmm. amazing artists. And so why not let them get the airtime too? And so it just started to turn into this kind of fun little marriage of music, community news and events, um, c contests, all kinds of stuff. So. Oh. Oh, yeah, and I love that you can hear Ramona Radio in a lot of the businesses and the restaurants. Which yeah, is super yeah. Cool. So a lot of our businesses have started adopting it as their in-house music, which helps the businesses mm -hmm. because there's a licensing issue, right? And they're like, I don't know how to get the license, and so they'll play, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they can get their hands on and stuff like that. But they, they, you know, they want to be above board, mm -hmm. right? But they want to play the local music or they want to get the local news and events. Well, we're fully licensed to do that. Mm -hmm. So they go, oh, okay, that takes a big burden off. I can go back to doing what I do. I know mm -hmm. how to make coffee. I know how to make hamburgers. I don't yeah. know how to run a radio program or license my rights to radio. And so a lot of our businesses have started to adopt it as their in-house music because mm -hmm. they go, okay, cool. It's just easy, right? And I love how community-oriented you are because we, we were talking about it and you were saying how important it is for businesses to advertise that you just want to get their information out. Well, yeah, I mean that's that's why I started it, mm -hmm. right? I would it, I didn't start a radio station because I thought it would be a I want to be a DJ, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah. did it because I'm a small business owner and I want to talk to my community. Yeah. So, I'm still very business centric. It's really that's why I started it. That's where my main focus is is to start it for the local businesses so that they have the ability to communicate. Um, you know, if they're doing charitable events, you know, and we're not charging for it, just give me the Give me the audio spot. I'll mm -hmm. put it on there. If you're a nonprofit, just give it to me. We'll do it. Mm -hmm. um, we're helping you know a lot of organizations from Wainola, Ramona, mm -hmm. down in Poway, even, who are trying to get the word out that they have something special going on. Mm. And so, it's like a, a kind of like I mean, I'm, we've had radio for who God knows how long, right? Mm -hmm. But it's kind of a genius marketing strategy because as people kind of steered away and started doing more podcasts in that way you said let me go back to the basics and go do a a, a show you know or, or a station mm -hmm. and then it's so niche that it's almost like everybody in that community has to listen to it to be updated on all things ramona it's all things ramona yeah, yeah. and our surrounding communities wainola julian and stuff mm -hmm. like that so i mean it's really cool and ramona i mean it's it's a nation within a nation <laughs> you know i always yeah. tell people it's, really it's, it. it's it's an amazing <laughs> community i mean it's like you, when you when you're a, when you're a Ramona eight, mm -hmm. you love Ramonian Ramona. Or what? Yeah, <laughs> Ramonian. Ramona eight or Ramona. Ramona. We yeah. need to dub it now. Ramonian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're obsessive about our community, and that's yeah. And so it's really fun for people who have ambition and want to support their community. Instantly, the whole community is behind you, mm -hmm. and it's like this is fun. Yeah. So it's more fun than anything. It's we're just having a blast. How much time do you spend running it? Well, thank God for my, my better half. She, <laughs> she helps me out a lot. Um, really, honestly, I probably spend, you know, probably eight to ten hours a week just managing the music. We get a lot of submissions from local mm -hmm. artists and, you know, pour us. We have to pour a glass of wine and sit down and listen to a bunch of music, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and pour through the music, make sure it fits the kind of style that we're looking for and stuff like that. But um, so a lot of listening to music and mm -hmm. going, that's fun. Mm -hmm. that, that's really nice, but it won't work, and that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you know, a couple days a week, yeah. we're kind of spending, really working on it. And you spend a lot of time in the community watching the musicians too. Just hearing Six you and your wife. Six nights a week. Yeah. Six nights a week, so we are out watching music every night. So yeah, um, and we have to, you know, I don't know. I think it's just being a good steward of of the, of the program you put forward, right? Yeah. You know, I can't just. You know, you got to go out there and be a part of it. Yeah. And so we're involved with it. Six nights a week, we're out there listening to music, um, up the hill and down the hill. And on the weekends, we're you know traveling all over, listening to music and finding the great talent, the hidden talent that San Diego's got so much of. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, where have you been? Yeah. It's yeah. Where have you butter. been? And she's like, oh, well, you know. Do you, is it constantly on or is it live hours? 24 7. 24 7. Yeah, 24 7. Where streaming. do you find it? Um, you just go to a, well. You can down if you're. You can download it from any of the app stores. Mm -hmm. um, so Apple, go to the app store. Um, if you're an Android, go to the Play Store. Go to RamonaRadio.com and you mm -hmm. can download it. You go hit the listen to play right there on the website. Okay. Works on Alexa, so you just walk up to Alexa. Alexa, open Ramona Radio. She'll play Ramona okay. Radio. Um, if you have the app, you can play it in your car on CarPlay, Android Auto, all of that plays. Um, Do we get to hear you? 
on there? Every now and then, you know, when I can't convince somebody else, I'm like, hey, anybody want to cut a radio commercial? <laughs> you know, or no. Yeah, I'm on there. I introduce a lot of the local artists, so. Yeah, if you're listening, like the, you know, I mean, we want to we want to bring the local music out to our mm -hmm. community and the local artists. So when we have, um, you know, I I know, I know you've you've worked, you know, you met with Ashley Norton, you know, when her song comes on, those that aren't familiar with her work, you know, it's kind of fun to say, ladies and gentlemen, from Ramona, Miss Ashley E. Norton. Oh, you have well, such you a know, radio so. voice. <laughs> I didn't. You've been hiding that from me. <laughs> Uh, so I introduce the local artists, you know, when they play on the station. Um, obviously, I write my, you know, I do the voiceovers for my own commercials, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, so I'm on there sometimes. We got a lot of great stuff coming down. We, you know, we're looking for sportscasters right now that can help us mm -hmm. stay on tops of Ramona, you know, Ramona um, sports. Love um, it. Uh, we've got a professional DJ who's joining us, who's former, you know, mega DJ who's mm -hmm. now retired mm -hmm. and goes, I would to do this part time. How so. Fun. So come in and hang out with us in January, and he's like, oh, I'm in. So we've got a lot of fun stuff coming down the line as well. A lot of like contests. It. We've we've been doing a lot of amazing contests, um, from concert tickets to weekends away at, you know, mm -hmm. family, fan, fun destinations. Um, we did a big party bus down to one of our local musicians who had a big album release. Oh, that's neat. Wow. So we rented a massive party bus and had a big giveaway, and that was fun. We brought 30 people from Ramona down to San Diego to watch one of our local artists that's cool. debut their sophomore album. She was amazing. So, and, uh, so we're getting a lot of love and support from the businesses, and so we're finding creative ways to give back. And I'm like, as I'm sitting here, I'm like thinking of all these ideas. I'm like, Valley, he's already thought all these ideas. I'm like, there's, there's endless possibilities of things you can do with it. Oh, we can have so much fun with it. And, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, it's, I don't sound, I don't want to sound cliche, but I mean, I'm just so impassionately in my heart that this belongs to the community of Ramona. Yeah. Right? I mean, I want the community of Ramona to go, we have an outlet, we have something we can do. We can throw a party anytime mm -hmm. we want and mm -hmm. let's just get together as you know, a, a, a community and have some fun, whether it's contests or sharing charitable events and supporting, I don't know, it's, it's fun. Yeah. I mean, more than anything, it's just a hoot. I'm just having a blast. I never thought like I would it. have so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I Love mean, my it. wife and I have been music lovers for years. And so now that we can get intimate with music the way we are right now, and our community, it yeah, almost it's seems almost like, like we're living a dream. It's fun. You're like it's like pulling you from the aviation thing a little bit. It's like <laughs> yeah. you gotta split your split your love a little bit. I do bit. have to split my time, and, and and yeah, I have to get reminded from time to time what you know what what I really do. So <laughs> <laughs> so, but. But yeah, come five o'clock, man, I just get to be a music nut and That's a community cool. nut and I get to go shows and, and have That's fun, awesome. which is really, yeah. And so I just want Ramona Radio to grow and, you know, the community to listen to it. Yeah. You know, it's not, you're not, you know, you're not just going to hear local music. I mean, we, we play all the mainstream stuff. We play all the top hits. Um, we play the local music, but we also talk about the things that are happening in our community. Yeah, what matters. Which is cool. Yeah. It is really cool. Yeah. There's kind of a cool little backstory too. You mentioned to me about uh, the Ramona Tower, how that kind of compelled you on. So yeah. I love that you jumped into that and got that. Going. Yeah, I guess early on, I, or when we first started, I said it was an accident, and it kind of was an accident. I, once upon a career, I was an IT guy, and so I, you know, I know software and I know all that mm. other kind of stuff. And makes sense. Um, at the airport, we have our own tower, our control tower, and, and Cal Fire's based out of there. And I thought it would be nice to be mm. able to have the audio of the tower on the internet so people can listen to it. Mm. Fast forward, you know, and we were trying to do it through this other party and everything else. And I finally said, gosh, you know, I can write mm. the software, so I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, got it up and we got it online. And then I had a toy and I wanted to play <laughs> with my toy. And so I kind of pulled a bunch of music down and created this little silly aviation radio station. <laughs> and then I started getting more nervous because I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing this, I mean, is, this, is this allowed? I don't know, so let's just go make it legal. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I went out and found, got the licensing. So we're all squared up. And then my wife, uh, so I had this new toy and I had a radio station. It was just a funny little aviation themed radio station. It was, it was nothing. And my wife said, we should get some local music. And I said, oh. Who do you know? And she goes, I don't know. I heard the guy at the music store knows people. And mm -hmm. I said, all right, well, let's go meet him, John Haas, mm -hmm. right? So we showed up there, and John's like, oh, yeah, here, talk to this person, mm -hmm. talk to that person. And within a week, I was mingling with the musicians, and all of a sudden, somebody said, 
you should do a Ramona radio station. I said, okay. <laughs> I didn't set out to do it. I set yeah. it out, you know, just to have the, 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 the airport tower on the internet. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's how it kind of started, you know? And it's a yeah. really beautiful though evolution of where mm -hmm. you're at today. Yep. And I love the idea of just huh. kind yeah. of fumbling into something that now is like a passion. Oh yeah. It's not a toy anymore. It's like no. a passion. Yeah, it know? literally went from a toy to a passion to a you know, I mean, a, a, a possible a business. A I staple, mean, really. A staple, in the community. something that we can all leverage. Yeah. And I, there's no way I could have done it without all kinds of people saying, "I want to help." I mean, it's just amazing. Everybody goes, "What can I do? What can I do?" And I mean, a lot of what I do is trying to manage all the people that want to help. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> it's great, right? I mean, I love it. Somebody's like, "I'll be this. I'll be that." And I'm like. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, it's, it, it's kind of taken on a life of its own and it's fun. Yeah. yeah. But it's amazing what a community, when they come together and they collaborate for the greater good, what can be accomplished, you know, instead of beating each other down, Ramona's just this place where everybody lifts each other, each other up, come together, support each other to Every have, time. yeah, to mm -hmm. make something special that's unique to them and the whole community gets involved and gets behind it. It's Every really time. Neat. Every time. I mean, not really? just with this project. I mean, I, you go back anything I can think of going from anything that we've ever done in Ramona. It's like one person mm -hmm. has an idea and 50, the whole village comes together and goes, we got you. Yeah. And it's like, that's the coolest thing. You can be anything, you can do anything you want because you're always going to have love and support in there. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just, it's an amazing mm -hmm. community. And I feel big things are coming with Ramona Radio. Just the way it all kind of grew. It's like it was meant to be. There's yeah. a big something coming. I hope so. I, I really hope so. I hope the community embraces it. I know the music com community has. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're slowly becoming, I don't want to say slowly. I mean, this whole thing is not even a year old. I mean, yeah. My, I, the brainstorm happened only about a year ago. So, um, yeah, I mean, local musicians from all over San Diego County know that this is an outlet where they can get their music heard already. Yeah. So I'm getting oh, cool. a ton of submissions from all over San Diego County, and that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice to support and love them too, yeah. you know? So, and yeah, the businesses, we're getting there. We're having yeah. fun. Yeah, we had a kind of big community debut on the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. um, tree lighting this month, and so that was... And that was spectacular. It was fun. A ton of people. Yeah, that was it fun. was really. We had fun. so much fun. We were playing. We had people dancing around our booth, and I know I we heard about the away. Ramona dancers. We, were, we, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had that was a party in the street. That was a lot of fun. We yeah. had a lot. Of, we had a really good time. So that was fun. So well, I'm going to teach personally. I'm going to teach my kids how to use their Alexa and say, Alexa, play Ramona radio. And yeah, I'm sure that they'll love that. Yeah, and then me personally, I think it's a great thing to just go to the Ramona radio.com and you can play it right on the website while I'm sitting there working and on my computer all day I'll just take a listen and see how things are going but I, I it's so cool it makes it so easy to access mm -hmm. you know yeah. I'm definitely gonna do it yeah it's RamonaRadio.com or download the app either yeah. way so I like the app because it just auto connects to my car I never have to do anything as soon as I start my car it comes on and I get to see the album art right so I get yeah. to see the artist up there mm, that's cool oh that's nice you know so that's kind of fun and um, yeah I don't know. If there's another way somebody else wants to listen to it, tell me. I'll go get it done. I, yeah, I, I can't think of any other way, right? Um, <laughs> over the air, you know, people have asked about over the air. The FCC hasn't granted a license in 10 years, and they're not going to be granting anymore for the mm -hmm. next 20. So, um, unless... Who needs you know, that anyway? Not These today. Days? So not, many right? days. I mean, today yeah. it doesn't matter, you right. know? Um, when my family's traveling, they're like, oh, I'm in Mississippi listening to it. I'm in Europe listening. We have a big following in Europe. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So I look at the Love stats it. and I see two o'clock in the morning. We have a big surge in Europe. I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Can you, you know? give us one more radio voice? <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you all for joining us this evening, and we'll see you next time. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you don't so need good. a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really appreciate it, and I am so glad I met you. And I'm looking forward to listening myself, and hopefully our viewers tune in. Um, do you have anything else to share, Jan, that we should know about him? I'm just so excited for Ramona Radio yeah. in Ramona, and I think it's Same. so cool what you've done. And thank your you. enthusiasm and community spirit just I appreciate make all a big of difference. you. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. Good luck in all the future. Let's get it done. Let's be big Ramona. That's yeah. what we do. We may, may make small <laughs> sure. things big things. It's fun. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Thank you so much for Thanks, being on the show. Appreciate it.
<laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching Discover Vermoner, where we explore the people, places, and businesses that make it the best place to live. We'll see you next time.